where we buy a pre-built and how we buy a pre-built is really what we're going to spend the most of the time on during this conversation. These are just some of the locations that you could go and buy a pre-built PC. And I don't think my links, oh, they are going to work. Um, and by the way, the reason I've got this terrible looking PowerPoint is because when I downloaded my smart, smart notebook, I've got this um, watermark that's covering up all kinds of things on my um, presentation that I didn't want on there, which is why I had to turn it into a very bland looking PowerPoint that I'm not extremely proud of. Anyway, let's talk about buying PCs. Now, some of these locations are um, what I would call major manufacturer. Obviously, Dell is a major manufacturer. And if we go to the Dell site, it gives us the ability to look through a number of things. And some of these are going to be semi-custom customizable and some of them are not going to be customizable at all we're going to it's going to say here's the pc that you can get and that is it as far as your options on the pc so let's take a look at some of the things that we can look at at dell we can go down here on dell and set our price range in here and say hey um we're, we we don't want to spend more than fifteen hundred dollars so now let's just look at those and now i'm looking at the fifteen hundred dollar ones you know what i i by the way, I do um, really dislike all-in-ones. They're not upgradable, except for maybe to a very minimal extent. It's more like buying a laptop with a big, huge screen that stands up. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is what I mean when, I, when I'm talking about an all-in-one PC. It's, it's nice. It takes up no, no room. Um, if I don't know how to do any kind of upgrading, I... I I recommend this to people that I that are I consider low end um, on the techie scale, but I just want a really nice PC that takes very little room up. Beautiful, beautiful um, workspace, um, but it really is just a huge laptop on my desk with a full size keyboard and a full size screen. Um, they're really nice, but you're not going to upgrade them, which is why I consider them not a choice of mine. I'm always going to go with a tower. Uh, when I go with an option, and and by the way, there's there's two different kinds, and it isn't even an option on this Dell Dell site, and they've gone away to a large extent to personal users. But a tower is one that stands up like this. A desktop is one that sits flat on your desk, and the and the computer can sit, get sat on it. Uh, we have a number of those in the school. Um, towers are always better for airflow and for cooling than a desktop or any other kind of version. So so I lean towards tower PCs. Um, so I look at we're going to look at this one first um, and see what kind of co kind of customization I can do on this one. It's an SPS de desktop. By the way, I've gone uh, white. Most of ours are black. That's considered the new um, pretty color. Um, you can see it lists what the processor is, an I, Intel 12th generation i5-12400, and, and you guys know at this point that the first two digits are the generation. This is telling whether it's an i3, i5, i7, i9, uh, and then the last three digits here um, really determine which, which one inside the 12th generation it has. This one's telling us a little more. We can see how much cash we have, how many cores we have, how many threads we have, and what the gigahertz of this processor is. Now, we know all those things together go to determine the speed of this processor. And if we really wanted to know, hey, how does this processor rank? Really, the answer to that is, right, we go to pass mark, and we put that, that in, and we would be able to then find um, where is this fall on the chart? Um, it's actually pretty high. 19,000 is pretty good. Um, we can also see a little more how much power does it pull. And if I wanted to go and look at where it falls on this range, I could also put that in here and see, hey, you know what? It's, it's well, we can see this is the high end. So it looks like it's in the top one third of the high end processors. Now, Important to take a note here while I'm looking. This computer costs $1,129, 30, $1,130. Um, and this processor alone is 192. So if I was gonna build this, I know I'd still have $1,100 left to build the same PC and get the rest of the components. Maybe I can do it, maybe I can't, but it's something I, I look at as I go. We're gonna get Windows uh, 11 Home. 
Um, it has an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Super Card in it. Also something I might want to look at as I'm looking at this model because I'm really trying to see if it, where does this fall um, on our, our ranking. And this one costs, let's see if we get a price point down here. We did not get a price point on And we know that these price points are, are not always correct. Again, in the top quarter. And it says this is $441 if I was going to go buy that right now. So now, just with these two components right now, I had $1,100 left. Take off another $450. Now I've got $750 left. If I just did my math right, no, $650 left um, to buy the rest of my components to build the exact same PC. And this is one of those things that's going to make or break the difference on us buying or building a PC right now because we know video cards are really expensive right now. Got 16 gig of RAM. Unfortunately, it's got one 16 gig stick. And we do know from chapter five that if it had two 8 gigs, it would be better than one 16. Oh well. It's got two hard drives. It's got a 256M.2 and a one terabyte spinny drive. That's that's great. So this is the base model. Let's go and see what we can then um, configure. We can change our processor up here. We can go up as much as $500 more to get an i9-12900K. Um, interesting. Now here's the here's one of the things that's really hard to know. The K versions are, are able to be overclocked. So these this is the same version of this, but but uh, no, it's a little bit better. Uh, this one is the same version of this. These two are exact same version, but this was overclockable, and this one is not. Interesting. Um, we don't know if the motherboard can do overclocking. You could conceivably buy this one instead of this one and get it in a motherboard that you can't even overclock with which is probably the case. But um, just to let you know those things. So let's let's look down. We can upgrade to Windows 11 Pro for another $60. Probably not a great deal right there because um, the difference between these two isn't $60. Our video card performance, we can go from a, a 1650 Super to a 1660 Super for a 1660 Ti. Let's see where that falls on here. Um, we just said this one's $440. Oop, 1660 Ti. Um, hmm, is it a Super Ti or a Ti? Let's look back at that. That is a 1660 Ti. Is it better? <sighs> wow, that, that is tough, isn't it? It it we We just went from a 1650 Super... Uh, and by the way, look, this is less expensive, and we're get, we're charging, we're paying another hundred dollars more. Um, where was that? That's our link, eleven seventy nine. So it is better, eleven seventy nine. We're going up a, about a thousand points. Um, and again, we don't know whether this cost right here is right or not, right? We know, we just know this is the last price they got. It may be off, but we are going up a thousand points, um, there, whether or not that's worth it. Could we sell this for that price and buy this for the same one? Mm, probably not. So it might be worth that. Um, let's, what, let's see what else we can, oh, we can even upgrade our graphics card more and go up to 3060, 3060 Ti, Dell recommended. You're paying that $400 more for that. Um, and we could also do Radeon graphics if we prefer, preferred that more. Uh, chassis options, we can choose different colors if we didn't like that. Eh, it looks white to me, we'll call it silver. I can uh, lower it by $30 by going with the night bezel. Uh, in other words, flat black. It's the night bezel chassis, including, oh, uh, same price if we want a optical drive on it. If we need it, does, does it say what kind of optical drive? No, it just says optical drive. That's interesting. Um, we can get more memory. What? $1,300 more? Holy moly, they're 
insane um, with that upgrade. You're going to pay $1,300 more to go from 4,400 megahertz to 3,600. Oh, that's 128 gig of RAM. That's not adding up to 32. Um, we can go 60. Oh, look at that. You can, at no cost, at no cost, get two eights instead of a 16, which is better choice. Or you could upgrade all the way to 32 for just an additional $200. Um, that's probably about, about right. And if we're shooting for the $15 threshold, which I kind of am as I'm looking at this, it says right now we've got a dual drive. We've got a 256 and a one terabyte. We could make it a 512 and a one terabyte for $50 more, or we can make it a one terabyte and a one terabyte for $150 more. Look, look what we just did. If we, if our price range was $1,500, we're within our $50 of our $1,500. We've just we've just hit it with a really nice uh, PC, and so we could go and say, okay, this is our this is our thing. This is the one we're looking at and getting. Um, does it let us do a nice printout of it? It um, does not. Does it let me? Let's see. View delivery date. Supply for credit. Um, boy, it'd be nice if I just had a way to, um, see if we add it to cart, if then do we get a nice little breakdown of what we got here? Mm, not really. It still has all those things highlighted. So you're going to have to, uh, let's see, does it have a saved a PDF? Next step, accessories. No, nope, we don't need any accessories. Next step, chart. Let's see what this. Let's see what this chart shows us then. View full specs. Oh, there we go. Now, now I've got all the things that I'm getting with this one all in one place. It says what the processor, and this might be nice to to save to keep to your stuff so you know what you're getting. Okay, there's a Dell one. That's just one example of a Dell one. Um, some of them are not as customizable as that one. That one was pretty darn customizable. And we're up here at this end. By the way, Alienware is their gaming version, although that XPS that we just built was very much uh, a gaming one. Let's see what this uh, Ryzen Edition gaming desktop looks like. I did not mean to. I meant to open that new page there we go uh it's a ryzen 5 5660x let's see where that falls in relation to the one we just looked at 5660 uh, maybe i read that wrong did i read it wrong 5600x sorry about that 5600 Oh, and I'm dyslexic. 5,600. There we go. X. Ooh, look at how much higher that is. 22,000. That's almost double of our pass mark rating on the previous one. Eh, no, uh, it's higher. 19,668. And this one is 22,000. It is higher. Um, and we might be able to build a better system. Let's see what this one has. It has a Radeon... And, and this is an AMD processor, so they're recommending AMD graphics card with it. Although we could go and get the exact same graphics card. You can see it lists the uh, NVIDIA graphics cards down here below. So if we wanted to get the exact same one, we could go there. Um, and they've got one gig of eight gig stick. That, that's just craziness. We can go here. Um, and we could try to build a very similar one. Ooh, dark side of the moon, 70 watt platinum power supply. And you can see this one gives us more information than the other one did on the power supply that's in there. We had no options when the Dell on the power supply just went over my cost. Look at that. I just flipped over. Ooh, I'm now I'm 50 above. Is there anything I can do? This one only has a 256. I am not going to get the same thing for the same price in this one. Okay, I think I've spent enough time on Dell looking at, at Dell. Walmart.com has a number of PCs that we can look at, and these are also considered ones that are viable. But here now I'm looking at the Asus 
a Republic of Gamer one. There's HP Pavilions that we can look at. It has a wide variety of PCs that are from other manufacturers. So it's kind of like Newegg in that it's got a wide list of ones. There is no con configuration on a, on a website like this. This is the PC and that's it. And so all the specs are given right there. Oh my gosh, it's calling it a gaming desktop with a GeForce GT730 video card. They deserve to go to jail. Um, let me just show you where the GT730 video card is on this Passmark list. Um, let's see, is it on this page? No, it's not on this. Oh, yeah, there. Um, if I wanted to find a 730, I think it would be on the lowest end. Let me see if it's even made it on here. Mm, low mid? Oh no, it was right there. I just saw it. Low end. <laughs> Look at this video card. Um, there we go, 730. That's a 730i. I don't even know if the 730 um, is gonna be on here. Let I, You know what, I'm gonna do the comparison thing just so I don't have to look for it. If I go compare and say, I'm, I'm gonna look at 730, and that is the GeForce GT730. And if I hit compare, oh, it wants another one. Oh, let's let's compare it with the 1650 Super that we looked at on the other one. Um, look, <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay, so uh, the 730, by the way, is the lowest in video card I've ever bought. It's what's in the teacher's PCs, so they can do split screens. <laughs> It does nothing other than that. You couldn't play a single game on this piece of junk. Okay, I'm, I'm lying. You could probably play Overwatch on low graphics mode on this. And yet, uh, and this is the, the bad thing about going somewhere like Walmart to buy a, um, a PC, is that uh, they're calling this a gaming computer. Some poor soul is going to buy this and think they're buying a gaming computer when it is so far away from a gaming computer. Um, I guarantee you Dell didn't call it a gaming computer. Um, Walmart is the one who called it the gaming computer. So that's one of the things you have to watch out for. The name means nothing. You have to look up the individual parts. Um, it's got a 240 gig solid state drive, a 500 gig hard drive, 8 gig of DDR3 RAM, by the way, is it, oh, it's saying renewed. I was going to say this is older than the ones that, no, it is the ones that the, the teachers have. Um, and by the way, renewed PCs do not count on any of them um, for this project. You have to, in this chapter, be comparing apples to apples, which means you have to use a new one. So um, some of these manufacturers, like Cyber Power PC, they make really good PCs, but they, just like um, any other clone manufacturer, um, may or may not have any kind of a um, home warranty situation. You're basically just buying a pre-built clone PC. They're really nice. Um, this one um, isn't even listed as a gamer. Oh, it is gamer right there. And this one actually is 3060 Ti, a gamer PC for $2,049. So Walmart has a hodgepodge Best Buy also has a hodgepodge. They're a reseller um, from a variety of different um, manufacturers. And my PowerPoint just died for some reason. It did not like that. Oh, there we go. Um, again, on these kind of sites, not configurable. The, the PC that you click on um, is the PC that you're going to get. You only get to configure PCs from... The main manuf major manufacturer, and many times those configurations are um, more costly than doing it yourself. Um, iBuyPower is um, a manufacturer of PCs. I would not consider them a major manufacturer. I would consider them a clone manufacturer. But in some of the cases, like with iBuyPower, I think you have a better chance of getting a high-end PC here um, with them than you would with somebody like Dell. This is how um, uh, the Dell shoot off of uh, Alienware started as a uh, build manufacturer of its own gaming NPCs and then Dell bought them out to be their gaming franchise um, as far as that goes.
so that is it as far as buying a pre-built. Um, there's a quiz that follows this, and I want you to take some time to look at some of the links um, that are in the um, book itself, because on there, not only should you be reading chapter one, you should be reading the uh, online buyer's guide, as well as just making sure you've taken a look at some of these links, and I need to update some of them. Um, and then taking the quiz on uh, section number one of chapter nine.